Hey everyone, welcome back to my workbench. New this week, we have the uh, Scopovision here. With the, uh, I have my microscope trained on my oscilloscope. And it's just finishing up my research on the um, Auken. So, some interesting things I found. So, right now, the controller actually disconnected so it's not connected so the first thing to do is to see what signals were what on the see system boots up and then eventually it actually starts outputting signals so the game has to fully boot up before we actually get signals out Again, this is without a controller connected. But you can see here how um, there's an odd signal up in the upper right corner, the yellow trace of channel 1. So that is um, an odd duck. But two trace is simple. That is a nothing more than a um, clock signal. A very, very, very short duration clock signal, mind you. Is if you... Let's zoom out on the time a little bit. It's insane how short that clock's... how rare that clock signal is. To the point my scope has a hard time picking it up. you can see there's your clock signal and the odd signal on channel 2 I believe is I think they were preparing for some future version of uh, like a speaker out on the controller itself that's all I can make out because it seems to go along with the audio track in terms of change so I don't know what that signal is it's like a, it's a very rapid clock. See, when it's uh, I need to break up my capture. Hold on, just a moment, please. Let's add a video capture device. No, not window capture, video capture. I want a video capture and I want call whatever. There it is. It's way too big. Hold on a second. Aspect ratio is wrong. We'll fix that. Do, 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 do. Where's the filters? Filters. Do a live. I want the scaling aspect ratio. And I want this to be. All the wrong one. Oh, a lot of Peter. Filters. Yeah, we're taking off. Yes. Oh. Hold on. Filters. I want scaling aspect ratio. I want four by three. Watch the. Oh, turn the volume. Plug in the controller. Mm -hmm. 
See how this, when there's no sound, there's no signal up there. But as soon as the music kicks in. Yes, yeah, so I think it's, this was for some future expansion they were planning. Alright, so. Got that. So, that is on the. Red, is it on the red line? Let's see. Yeah, it's on the red line. So that's on the red line. So that's the red line, which is the Pin 7, which is interesting, so that's some future expansion, but my main goal tonight was to get some captures on the move of the pier on the controller line. Get my scaling a little bit. And again, it's kind of weird because I know on this particular system, the uh, audio controller, the sound controller, I should say, and the joystick are on the, the controller are on the same port. You can actually see how the sound's changing, how that controller port signal changes. So, but if I hit a button here, there's one there, there's one there, there. Change my time just a little bit. Oh, is that my cursor moving? No, it's just my cursor. Time. There we go. See how it's stable and there's no music? But as soon as the music kicks on, it's a heck of a thing. So in the game itself, let's start it. A. I need to get to the cursor. Let's figure where the cursor's at. Here it is. Cursor. Alright. The cursor's are actually really hard to see on this screen, but I'll do my best. So. I don't think you're going to see it in the video. So let's go from falling edge to falling edge. Falling edge to falling edge. Exactly 36 microseconds. That was A button. Thirty six microseconds. Alright, so now let's go B button. B button. Let's see. That one's still okay, so I'm gonna move this cursor over. Oh, wrong way. Let's 
cursor two. Let's go falling edge to falling edge. Falling edge to falling edge. We've got right. this B button. It's 106 microseconds. has to do with the duration too. So let's go X button. Cursor's at some cursor one. And there we go. I have to go back and remeasure the durations too. Oh, darn it. Okay, I'm not gonna make everyone suffer through watching me take measurements for the next half hour. But uh that being said, interesting. Hmm. It's not like your Super Nintendo, which just sends out a, a standardized data burst. So I'm thinking it's either... It looks like the positive transition It might be the trigger. Because I can see the positive. You see on 2 there? 1 and 2, that transition is almost exactly the same time so it's going to be that's the synchronous synchronizing pulse so it's going to measure okay you press the button measure from that beginning line to the let me, oh, wrong way I need my cursor let's see let's move that cursor over from start And let me get cursor two over there. Let's see, I think it's dead on actually. Hold on. Oh, too far. Yeah, they're right on top of each other. So the initial positive pulse is the synchronizing pulse, and I'm betting it measures to the upswing to the downswing and then the duration back to the upswing. So let's see how long those durations are. Durations are. That button press 8.8 .8 microseconds. Wow, this stuff is tight timing. Okay, um, I'm going to keep working on this, but I'm not going to make everyone stare at it for the next... It's going to take me like half an hour to do all these measurements. So I don't think that's the most entertaining YouTube video, but I'm learning. And after this, this is going to go back in the box after I'm done taking these measurements. And then I'm going to... Um, 
get back to finishing off of that MSX cable, then see if I can get that CDX adjusted. I still have any luck with it. I think I'm going to hook it up to a regular TV and just see if uh, the more immediate response works better. But And then uh, back to the Tiger learning computer. So I'm going to take some measurements and move on from there. Thanks for watching.